perfume is one of those things that I just can't leave the house without. Um, I'm never fully dressed without a good scent to go with my outfit. You feel me? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Ainsley Grace. I am a perfume collector and enthusiast, as well as very spiritual, which is the exact kind of content that I make for you guys every week here on this channel. Before I forget, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I will link both of those down below. Today, I wanted to show you guys my 2021 Holy Grail perfumes. As everyone knows about me. I don't leave the house without perfume. My outfit's never complete without perfume. I will go with no makeup, no hair, and a bum outfit and still smell good. When people tell me I smell good, it is my favorite compliment ever to receive. Part of my job where I work is selling perfume, which is um, what I'm really good at. Part of the reason that I didn't do a Holy Grail perfumes overall is just because I don't own all of my Holy Grail perfumes. But just you wait, y'all are gonna get an overall Holy Grail perfumes video. Trust. So I'm going to go from least expensive to most expensive. There is a good affordability range here, so anyone can go and get one of these perfumes. I think you guys are going to like what I have to show you today. So the first perfume that I have to show you guys today is the Aqualina Pink Sugar. This is such a staple. Okay, everyone knows what this perfume is. Everyone's heard of it. Everyone's smelled it at least once. And it's one of my favorites. I get so many freaking compliments every time I wear this. I have people stopping me in the street to ask what I'm wearing because it just smells so good. So, just in case you've never smelled this before, I have my phone out just to see all of the notes and everything. Fragrantica describes it as a very sweet fragrance that smells like fruity candy floss. The top notes are bergamot, Sicilian orange, and green nuance of fig leaves. Now, that sounds a little bit more complicated than what it actually smells like. I don't notice any of those specific notes when I smell it. It's just very sweet, very sugary, and very delectable. It's a little bit of a man killer, so if you're trying to find a good fragrance to attract men, a lot of men love this, including my boyfriend. He loves when I wear this. And overall, for the price point, it lasts all day. This one's like one of my top favorites, y'all. My second Holy Grail perfume that I have for you guys today is Ari by Ariana Grande. I feel like this one, a lot of people, they either love it or they don't. I have loved this since I was 14. Fragrantica describes it as a floral fruity gourmand fragrance very similar to Viva La Juicy. That one's a floral fruity gourmand. Top notes are raspberry, pear, and grapefruit. Middle notes are vanilla orchid, lily of the valley, and rose. Base notes are marshmallow, musk, and woody notes. Let me tell y'all, when I smell it, it's definitely very sweet, very floral. I love how it settles down into a little bit muskier of a tone. It makes it a little bit more mature. I know a lot of her fragrances are targeted towards younger women and it is definitely a very young fragrance. However, I love this. It smells expensive. I get so many compliments anytime I wear it. And it's also very similar to Flower Balm by Victor and Rolf as well. So it's a nice affordable dupe of Flower Balm. Get you some Ari. It is the best. My next Holy Grail perfume is another Ariana Grande one. You guys already know because I've talked about it on my channel, but Miss Ariana knows what she's doing when it comes to these fragrances. And every time she drops a new one, I buy it. Whether I like it or not, she just knows what to do. I love it. I love all of her stuff so far. And honestly, I don't think that's ever gonna change. So this is Moonlight by Ariana Grande. Sneak peek, spoiler, you're gonna see this in my empties video because I finished off my one ounce bottle and I went ahead and splurged on the 3.4 ounce because this is one of my favorites. 
I wear it almost every day. I freaking love this. It's so intoxicating and sweet and feminine and I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this. Fragrantica describes Moonlight as a floral fruity fragrance, which is definitely the case. Definitely very similar to Viva La Juicy as well. The top notes are plum and black currant. Middle notes are marshmallow and peony. Base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. Let me tell y'all, anything with a base of sandalwood or amber or vanilla, I'm gonna buy it. Like, instant, I love it. It smells so feminine and sweet and sexy, and I just love a good amber fragrance. And this one is like one of my favorite gel. This is my absolute favorite Ariana Grande perfume as of right now. So, number four, we are stepping it up in price a little bit. The last two are definitely more high end. This next one is Lady Million from Paco Rabanne. I don't see a lot of fragrance YouTubers talk about this one, but it is one of my absolute favorites, okay? This is the exact kind of perfume that I would imagine an expensive girl boss CEO wearing. If you wear this, you don't take shit and you don't let anyone boss you around. This scent is powerful. So, described by superdrug.com, Lady Million is vibrant and sensual, which is definitely the case. It's very warm, so if you don't like warm fragrances, you may not like it. It has top notes of bitter orange, fleshy raspberry, and neroli, followed by floral notes of orange blossom and Arabian jasmine, and base notes of patchouli, honey, and amber. See? It's that amber base note again. I love me a good amber, and I love this. And back when I was working at Hooters, this is what I would wear to get a bunch of tips. I would make the most money when I was wearing this perfume, y'all. Get you some. It's worth every penny. Last, but definitely not least, in fact, this is my absolute favorite, and you're also going to see it in the empties video, is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. This is like, if I had to pick one perfume to have for the rest of my life, this would be it, y'all, because it is so good, it is so intoxicating, it's so strong. A little bit goes a long, long way, so this bottle has lasted me for years. I freaking love this perfume. This is my absolute favorite. Chanel describes Coco Mademoiselle as a bold, absolutely modern fragrance with irresistible femininity. Yes. Absolutely feminine, absolutely powerful, I love it. Featuring bright, sparkling notes of orange, jasmine, and rose. And that's why I love this. Because honestly, I'm not a huge fan of rose, but when I smell this, I can barely smell rose. I just, it's so powerful and strong, and it just smells as expensive as it is, and I love it. If I could recommend one perfume, this would be it, y'all. Thank you so much to anyone who stuck around to this point of the video. I promise y'all when I get some more perfumes, I'm gonna do that holy grail perfumes video. Trust, I got y'all, you're gonna see it. I promise. But thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you. If you enjoyed this video or you enjoy my content in general, please feel free to give me a like as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you know anytime I upload. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. It's a beautiful day where I'm at.